Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Fourth Grandma Designs. It's another beautiful day in Northwest Florida. I like walking through my yard and collecting little what you would call weed flowers. I like to put them in the water, but it's all got mixed up today. But what you might think of a weed, I think, is just a, a wild flower. They're beautiful. But today, I think we're, this is going to be part three of um, a mulberry berry journal. Um, it still has the one signature and I've added a few things in here. Well, sunflowers, it looks like it's fallen apart. I'll have to probably redo it. My little French knots that do such a great job on that. Not this little leaf. But we've got um, this I thought I'd make a pocket out of it. A pocky filter. But I'm going to set this aside and focus on something else. So it seems as if in this wild world wide web, I stumble across things and um, fall down rabbit holes and go into different little tunnels and this tunnel um, happens to be, and I've mentioned it before, um, a group of ladies and gentlemen that um, all get together and they do these um, gel, I guess it's gel prints, but um, anyways, uh, I decided that I would um, hop on board with this. Um, I'm fascinated. I didn't have anything to do these gel prints with and they they kind of did a little um, session where they discussed how to do the these things and where to get your supplies and this and that. I guess I got in a little late and I didn't go back in and watch it but um, The channel is on YouTube. It's PM Artist Studio. But anyways, I colored my hair. It's kind of back to my original hair color when I was a kid. But anyways, I then decided to step out into the world and I went to Joanne's Fabrics and could not find a jelly gel plate. Nobody knew what that was. And then um, they said, go to Hobby Lobby. That sounds like something Hobby Lobby would have. So I went to Hobby Lobby and nobody there actually seemed to know what that was. So I ended up buying this glass. It's already messy because I've been playing. This glass thing is for measuring on the table. So glass cutting mat is what it's called but I went in the card section it was $17.99 and I ended up buying that instead of the plexiglass since I couldn't find anything and then um I mean I was ready to buy <laughs> I was not leaving till I had something I want to do this gel print thing so I have a burr out my shisha, but I used it for um, doing decoupage on glass and it's kind of all funky looking. I didn't really want to buy another one. So these are my burrs. I'm just going to use these little wooden dowels. They have pretty little markings on it. But that's what I've been using. Put my little flowers back over here. And then um, what I found was the 
these. <laughs> it's all messed up. You probably don't know what that is, but this is, I bought two of these. I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money, but I bought these two little things. Uh, they're stamps. They were in a card section. And this, they each had a design on them. I don't know if you can see it, but here's one design. And then I had this other one, it had another little, little pretty design. I don't know if I can find, oh, there it is. Hold up. The sticky adhesive on things sticks to everything. It's annoying. <laughs> okay. And then there is this little stamp thing. I thought that was real pretty. Can you see it? I don't know. See that? That's a little shiny there. And then this is the other one. That's the design. If you can see it, I don't know. Anyways, and there's that. But I thought I need to clean off the glass. But what I ended up doing is um, bringing them home, and I cannot wait. I just kind of like flip them upside down and kind of use that as my gel plate. And then another thing that I found are these little stencils. It was by the glass mat. Um, mixed media stencils. There's all kinds of them right here. There's 10 designs. These are the designs. I even found this little moon and stars. I thought that was real pretty. But I use that later on something else. But as you can see, these are the ones that I, I've used so far, playing around with. You can see that. And But you can order them online. They have um, special ones that are a lot better, more organic. I believe um, PM Studios have those. They have their own. They're a very fun group. They do live videos all the time. It's nice to feel included. But, um, Anyways, this was something I did a little roll-offs, and I had a lot of fun. That's where I just, when I didn't do a pull, I did a, I rolled my old dowel on them. Feeling really anxious again. I'm excited to show you. I thought this one turned out well, but it wasn't really like my daughter's favorite. But I used the design, and that was a pool that I pulled off of the little mat. And this was my very first one. And this one didn't really show any designs or anything, but I'm learning. I'm in the learning process. You can teach an old dog new tricks. I thought that was really neat. So my daughter and I were talking about getting together and tearing all these up and making collages with it. She really liked this one. I make some stamps with it. What I did was, I'm too anxious, so 
and excited <laughs> when they're try drying. I just take them out on my sun deck and put them out in the sun so they can dry. This is a roll off. My daughter liked this one better. It didn't seem like she liked when I was getting rid of excess. She liked those better than the actual pooling. This one's very simple. And then add to it. It's just a stamp. I thought I'd go over it. But that's I've been, that's the messes that I've been making. I've been having a lot of fun. I wanted to share something with you in this book that my oldest daughter had given me. The Creative Age, Awakening Human Potential in the Second Half of Life. So, um, I've been getting a lot of the quotes that you see in my other videos from this book. And some of them don't, don't really seem like they're relevant to anything that I'm doing that day. But there was something that I kind of glanced at. In here somewhere, where did I see it? Now that I want to show it to you, I can't seem to find what it was that I wanted to share. Isn't that great? With creativity, like learning, or like life, for that matter, the trick is to keep going at it. There's, this is just packed full about um, as we grow older, um, how our creativity just kicks in, um, pretty much not to give in to just growing old and and having that label that a lot there's a lot of people out there that have done some amazing things in their second half of life is what it, they're calling it so I thought this was a very interesting book um, the quotes in here Henry Wadsworth Longfellow the age of opportunity, no less than youth itself, though in another dress. And as the evening twilight fades away, the sky is filled with stars, invisible by day. I'm not wearing glasses. I, I should wear glasses, but I refuse <laughs> not to. But here's another quote brought up. Walter Emerson, nothing can bring you peace but yourself. But anyways, I just love this book. And I just would love to continue sharing at the beginning of my videos the quotes before starting. And I haven't been doing that. I need to get back to that. I don't know why I veered off into left field, but that's what I do. Uh-oh. I don't know how much room I have in my phone. That's what I'm using right now. Okay, but I'd like to share with you how I'm doing this. And I think I want to use this little stamp that I used. But I'm going to use some white. And I'm probably doing this all wrong. But that's not the point. The point is having fun. Uh-oh, I use way too much of being creative. And just going with the flow. Okay. 
you see that? I have the camera way up high. <laughs> you can I'm gonna add a little bit of this too. And I put way too much of that white. I think I'm just way excited. I never knew this was something that I would need to do. So I don't know, I wanna try to get it to the edge here because it wipes off that way I've noticed, especially with this amount. that and it's gonna get all messy right there look at all that that's left over I don't know I'm just gonna kind of put it over here see how pretty that is <laughs> even on the little rod it leaves a real pretty design Some, I can still do my paper towels here. Oh, here's one. Just wipe off the ex excess. I'm going to do that so it doesn't get all funky and dry up a lot of stuff. But I noticed they, they put another page on top of it. <laughs> and maybe I should do that, but I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know why. I don't know what my problem is. So I think I'm gonna use this one, the stencil. I'm gonna stick it here and get my dowel out. I was very disappointed that I couldn't find what I was looking for. I needed to step out of the house and get off my cell phone and the computer do life outside of my studio. I'm just gonna wipe this here. That was a fancy design. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. Take this. I don't know, I just wanna dab this. I don't know why. that is. Oh my, maybe I want to do this. I'll do it on this dry side. And it's not bad. I can do that. Oh, there's Zozo. Okay, so didn't really do anything on that side. I'm gonna peel this off. Probably didn't do all that quick enough. Look how pretty that is. I'll just stick it on here. All right, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna stick it here. and kind of work in the middle. So, huh, my poor little thing, it's all got paint all over it. This is a messy project. So I'm gonna just use my bone folder to smooth all this out, starting in the center and working outward, just like you would if you decoupage, you start in the center and work out, get all the bubbles. Kind of see the design underneath there. Kind of get on the outside. I'm afraid it's already dried that quick. You gotta be quick. 
That's one thing I'm not. I talk slow, I walk slow, I'm slow at everything I do. It's the self. Okay. But there we go. So I'm going to put this out on the deck. I'll lift it up here and let that dry. See, I've got some messy stuff there. But I'm going to go take this outside and let it dry on my balcony. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's outside drying. So, pull this back and see what happens here. Ooh, I think it brought up some paper with it. That's what it looks like. See that? Looks like I got some paper right there. Okay. Oh, I'll move that to the side. I can clean this up a little bit. So, it was mentioned in their video PM Artist Studios. Um, That if you didn't want a big gel plate, like an eight by ten or what have you, to start out small, like a five by seven. But this one is kind of small. That's, what is this? It is a five and a half by one and a quarter. Four by five. It's probably on the packaging, I'm pretty sure. This is for card making. Card making, scrapbooking, junk journaling. So I hope everybody had a nice weekend. had that birthday party for our little two-year-old and he had fun. His great-grandparents came over and enjoyed the time that we, his mama took him to the park and he had fun playing there and he had his little cousin with him. So they're still little. They were excited to see all the bigger kids running around them. And his auntie there and older cousins. It was not an elaborate celebration, but it was a celebration. All right. Now, I got that all clean. That might stick to the surface a little bit better now. Okay. I got a little waste basket underneath me. Can I show you my waste basket? Whoop, there we go. I keep bumping. This is my waste basket. I found a plastic one in a shape in a barn and it had never been used. And I, I don't really like plastic waste basket. So um, this was made with um, newspaper, see my little trash, and I made my own little waste basket out of leftovers from um, the newspaper that my mother-in-law used to bring by. She doesn't, she doesn't bring it by anymore. She doesn't subscribe. But anyways, I made that. I want to make a few more. I made my grandson one. 
I was trying, I was going for the Lakers color. All right, now I'm going to make another one since I have this and I'll need another piece of paper. Got that one already stamped out. I'll just do a plain piece of paper. All right. I think they do several layers. I know they do. But I guess it's okay to have this on there. You want that? I don't know. I wasn't really going for a um, red, white, and blue thing here. But I'm just using what I already have. In my little studio guest room. <laughs> slash nursery slash whatever else. And probably not in front of the mirror. Okay. So I'm gonna get this one. And I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna try to roll it back to the edge, I don't think. Without trying to roll it off. I don't think I got enough. I don't know. Everybody's, I feel like everybody's slapping their foreheads. Okay, that didn't do very well. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think I got enough on there. Last one, I think I got too much. This time, I don't think I got enough. And they said don't over roll it. So, uh, let me over roll it. I'm going to always do the opposite of what I should do, it seems. <laughs> oh, is that a rule? Oh, let me break it. Good Lord. Oh, that's interesting. It kind of looks like mountains. Isn't that cool? I love it. Wow. So neat. Maybe I should have just, I don't know. So there's that. Do I let that dry? And then it will pull off. Look at all that. Oh no, there's speck in it. Oh no. Turn this inside out. So I'm trying to think of all the possibilities of what we can actually do with all these gel prints. I'm learning, learning as I go, enjoying what I'm doing. It's my therapy, very therapeutic. But I'm enjoying the process. I just kind of would like for that to dry. Uh-oh. This is a messy business. Look at there. But I thought with the junk journaling, this is something that I would like to incorporate into that. Maybe some of my um, reverse decoupages or whatever. But... It seems like with the junk journaling, there's just an endless things that you can do. It's probably too late for this, but I'm learning and I'm going to make mistakes. Here we go. Making mistakes. My AC kicked on. I'm going to kick it off. 
It's a beautiful day outside, but it's a little cooler today. When I woke up, it was 63 degrees, but it's gonna progressively get warmer, of course. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people at the beach right now. Is that dry enough? Don't touch it. Uh oh, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. I had to touch it. Let's see. I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. That's drying. Yep, hurry up, hurry up. Got all these different ones. Oops. Let's see, there's that one. You know, I'm not too wild about these. That one's kind of neat. But, I mean, they're neat, but I kind of want something different. I like circles. There's that one. Okay, I haven't tried these. I tried a lot of them. I didn't realize I did. I think I'm gonna do this one next. Uh, let me see. I'm just gonna do this on top. I've not done this before. What if I just did all red? Boring. Well, my show is called Bored Grandma. Although, to be quite honest with you, people, <laughs> I'm not really bored. Not at all. How did I come up with the name? Bored Grandma. Well, of course, when we all had to shut down in 2020 and nobody could leave their houses during the pandemic, that's when I started originally. Okay, I'm overdoing this. Oh, I hate to go over this. Yeah, I'm flip the page. Because it's all. Ooh, that's. Looks like mountains again. Oh, neat. Alright. filled up didn't have any more room so I ended up putting this on the balcony and drying my sheets hung some sheets out to dry should be dry by now actually anyways um uh, I just climbed the stairs I should be in better shape than this anyways um what I'm gonna do is peel this back and to reveal what's underneath. I wonder if I should lower this or keep it high like that. I don't know. Maybe this will be okay. Uh -huh. I'm gonna fill this back. Not 
depressed. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably do a few more times, different ways. And it's, got, it's kind of bumpy right now, just kind of scratch that off. I'll do this one over here. That's off the back of the stamp. Just a minute. I think this is filming. Hard to see with that light. Are filming? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. There it is. Okay. I'm going to pull this back. Oh my, man, neat little design. Check it out. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Neato. Check it out. Can you see that? I love that. So I'm gonna stamp it all different kind of ways. That's what I made. And then I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with these things and how I'm going to incorporate them into my journal, but I guess this could be a little one too. Let's see the blue one I put on here, I guess. But anyway, that was fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this this video short and sweet, um, um, maybe after I edit it, it could be short and sweet, I don't know, <laughs> but anyways, um, please do like, if you don't like, um, hopefully you'll like, and please leave me a comment below, give me some ideas, people, come on, speak up. I know some of my friends, Allison, Kathy, Nicole, my little sister Tina. Anybody else watching out there? Um, let me know. Leave a mess a message, a comment below on what I can do with these things. Or just say hi, hello, let me know that you're out there. Please watch all the way through, that helps. All right, love you guys, thanks for stopping by. Check you out later, bye.